when I'm mad, my brain can get a headache and it can start burning. Your blood keeps pumping because you're like really mad. And you start to get sweaty because you're getting really, really mad. And when you start getting really mad, you turn red. When your body can't really control yourself, mad just takes over your body. I just get out of control. Are you breathing? Just breathe. Look, these are um, the proved, demonstrated benefits of mindfulness in any setting. So you have uh, benefits like in your body, for example, it is demonstrated scientifically that the immune system is enhanced, that eating disorders are either treated or prevented because you've got mindful eating. You also have that aging and um, cell aging slows down. So it is demonstrated scientifically by doctors and neurobiologists. 
But you also have that feelings and emotions are regulated, and therefore the relationship with others improves a lot. Communication becomes more aware, more conscious, and relationships improve. This is, this is what we want for our children, but this is first what we need to want for ourselves. First ourselves, then our children. So in the end, all of these, and this is demonstrated, creativity goes up as a, as a consequence. Finally, well-being and connection with yourself and connection with the group grows, fosters. This is what mindfulness is then. Don't just look, observe. Don't just swallow, taste. Don't just smell, taking. Don't just listen, hear, listen. Don't just touch, caress. Don't just think, feel. Don't just exist. Live here, now. But the lesson, the next step, yes? OK. I'm going to ask you now to go to your handouts. I'm going to close the session now, okay? So go to your handouts. Go, go to your, to page four. Go to page four. In page four you've got, and this is something that you can take with you. In page four, I have given you some basic ideas about um, what you have to bear in mind if you want to design activities or prepare materials uh, for your students. So, basic notions. Number one, are you there? Are you here? Are you with me? Are you breathing? Yes? Mindfulness practices must match the age of children. For example, if you want to prepare activities for children below four, only attention to breath, only attention to body sensations, only attention to sensory perceptions, only that because they were not ready to divert their attention to different places, only here. If we go from seven onwards, as they develop selective attention and they start internalizing self-talk, you've got three possibilities. Focused attention practices. In these focused attention practices, you can um, guide them now let's focus on these, now let's do that. They can close their eyes and they can listen to you. You can also help them focus on what they are thinking. So what are you thinking about now? Close your eyes and think about that. And also feelings. Tell them, the same as in the video, tell them to, to express how emotions feel in the body. 
from 10 onwards, children begin to develop dual attention skills, which means that they are able to notice inner experiences and external experiences at the same time. So you can, for example, ask them to focus on their breaths and at the same time focus on the noise of the door opening and closing. They can do this from 10 onwards, but not before. This is like something that you have to bear in mind, but then if you finally decide to try to take this into your class, always follow the next. Practice regularly. Choose the same moment during the week if possible. Make the practice easy and light. Make it short and adopt a curious and playful attitude. Don't forget, this is not telling them that they have to do this and if they don't do it, you get angry. No, it can't work like that. You have to observe and they have to observe and maybe they are ready for this, maybe they are not. If they are not, don't push, you can't. Repeat exercises from time to time because every moment is different. The experience of the exercises is also new. Be patient. A worm doesn't become a butterfly in an instant, nor is a language learned in an hour. That does cross it out. Nor is a language learned in an hour or a musical instrument mastered in two weeks. This takes time. It will take your whole life. So don't ask them to do that right now because I want you to do it. It won't work. Reassure their practice. All of us tend to improve our practice when we are recognized our effort. And also, always ask about their perception after a practice. Experiences are not good or bad. Remember, not being with the pleasant and wanting to uh, reject the unpleasant, no. If it is unpleasant, okay, it is unpleasant, be with it. That's okay, don't fight it. So experiences are never good or bad. Sometimes we do things expecting something to happen. Sometimes things don't happen, but this is the way it is. And finally, I have um, um, some activities, some sample activities that you can use. And I have proposed these activities here for you. For example, um, this is based on a Lion Snell book. Uh, the posture of the mountain or of the flower or the frog. We ask them to sit like the frog or to stay still like the mountain or upright like a flower. And then you play the, the bowl or any other instrument to mark the beginning and the end of the activity, depending on their age. Another possibility is a detective inspector. Children observe an object which, which changes with the passage of time. For example, in the video you have the glitter jar. Glitter jar, you shake it and then the glitter. Okay, you can use a color lamp, anything. You have to adapt the duration to children's age or listening to the silence. Sit in the room and listen to the silence. You never have silence, you always have some noises but they need to feel the silence or when the silence disappears as well. Anything they hear will be okay. Um, for example, another one is looking at each other. This will help you a lot in bonding, in helping everyone integrate. For example, we're going to do a 30 second activity. I'm going to ask you all to stand up and to be in pairs. I'm going to show, I'm going to show with you, okay? okay. <laughs> J 
Just look at what I do. Breathe together, feel each other's breath. Is it strong? You can also have you can also have another activity. For this activity I need a volunteer. A volunteer? You? Do you mind lying on the floor? Sit down. If you want to help uh, your students learn uh, the importance of reading and you want to help them um, relax, thank you. What you can do is to thank you, thank you. What you can do is to place a teddy bear or anything in your children's bellies. So you have, so you have your children, your students lying down and you tell them that you have to make the teddy bear go to sleep and fall asleep. And with the rocking movement of their bellies, they relax and they feel that they are taking care of the teddy bear. And the last activity that I want to share with you is, for example, another thing that you can do to foster attention. And what you have to do is to pass on something like this. Do you know what this is? Yes. And do you, have, do you know what I have in the cup? Water. Okay. And then this is something that you can do. This is something that you can do in the group. So with this, they have to pass it on so their attention is trained. For example, it is this, but it can be anything. When you are tired, throw it away. <laughs> Do you have 10 more minutes of your time? Yes. yes? 10 more minutes? I need 10 more minutes to finish. So I have finished, but I want to finish with a present for you. So I'm going to ask you, 
again to adopt the meditation posture. We are going to finish with a meditation. I will guide you through the meditation. Now that you know the dynamics of the breathing posture and the meditation posture, you know the way you have to sit. Are you here? Are you now? Are you here now? Yes? Okay. I'm going to start the meditation by playing the gong and I will finish the meditation by playing the gong. Okay? You can throw away the water, throw it away, or drink it. But don't keep on doing it. <laughs> Put it there. Forget about that. So this is a, an activity you can do. It can be anything, okay? All right. I have left in the dossiers so many resources, more resources. I have just brought some. Okay. Close your eyes. Sitting down in your chair, in a comfortable position, remaining still like a mountain, Gently closing your eyes and listening to my voice. Feeling that your position is one of majesty, honor, and dignity. The meditation posture also suggests that there is a balance between, fit, between feeling not too tense and not too relaxed. Prepared for whatever happens next. Bringing your attention now to your body, to those parts of your body which are in contact with the floor. Noticing how it feels. Do you notice any pressure, any tension, any pain? Accepting, if you can, any sensations that are with you right now, just as they are. Not wanting them to be different. Concentrating now on the flow of air, regularly coming in and coming out of your nose. Feeling the cool air coming in and noticing that the air is coming out warmer. Without trying to change anything, only observing it, observing your breath. While you observe your breath, I want you to go back mentally to this first activity that we did in this difficult, challenging, clear settings with the children's inabilities, disruption and possible problems with parents' worries with colleagues, going back to your idea of the challenges these situations pose for you. Breathe with it. Breathe with it.
Notice the effect of your breath in your body. Do you feel it? Do you feel the breath in your belly? Do you feel the breath maybe in your upper lip? Or maybe you feel it in your chest. Wherever it is, be with it. Feel the movement in your body, wherever it is. Feel how it runs through every part of your body. The moment you were born, you started breathing. And you've been breathing ever since, regarding of your attention to it. You will only stop breathing when you die. But now, right now, you are here. You are now with your breathing, with your body breathing, feeling how it feels in your body as it if were the first time in your life with a beginner's mind, with a shoshing attitude. And don't worry if your mind wanders away. This is what minds do. Every time your mind moves away from your breathing, just bring it back gently, with kindness, every time it goes away, it is giving you a new opportunity to become aware one more time and to thank yourself for becoming aware and then return to your breathing. I want now to ask you to invite you to move your attention outside your body and to move your attention to the sounds in the room. What do you hear while you breathe? Feeling this, I'm going to give you a little gift. So, I'm going to ask to prepare the palms of your hands for a little gift that I'm going to give you. I will be walking around, prepare your hands, and I will give it to you. What is this little gift? Explore it with your eyes closed. Feel it in your body. Is this object light? Is it heavy? Is it warm? Is it cold? Is it soft? Is it hard? How is it?
If you shake it, does it make any sound? Be with it. Stay with it. I'm going to play a musical instrument now. And I want you to in, I want to invite you to feel the vibration of this instrument and to feel how the vibration of this instrument fills the room. And when the sound is, has disappeared, I want you to feel how it disappears slowly. <laughs> <laughs> 